on the computer. Recording. Yesterday I forgot. Come on, continue. Brazil. Uh, Brazil and Argentina to begin preparations for common currency. Himachal Pradesh targets to, uh, to be first green energy state by 2025. Okay. Who is the Himachal Pradesh uh, Governor Rajendra Vishwanath Arlekar? Vishwanath Arlekar, yes, sir. Chief Minister Himachal is? Pradesh Chief Minister Sukhvinder Singh Sukhu. Capital? Shimla. Shimla in Dharamshala. Dharamshala oh. in winter. Okay, continue. Okay. Assam, Assam CM. CM nominated uh, Sharaidu uh, Madam to seek UNESCO World Heritage Tag. Yeah. Assam, what is this? Please read. Assam Chief Minister. Assam Chief Minister uh, Himanta Biswa uh, Sarma announced that the center has nominated the uh, ma maidens of a home kin uh, kingdom in Shai. Uh, Sheraido to seek a UNESCO World Heritage Site tag. The historic uh, maidens of a home kingdom in Sheraido were chosen out of 52 sites for the UNESCO World Heritage Site tag. Yeah. The maidens uh, of the uh, maidens of a home kingdom in uh, Sheraido, or uh, if selected as UNESCO World Heritage Site, will be the first World Heritage Site under the category of Cultural Heritage in North Northeastern India. CM uh, Himanta Biswa Sarma also informed that the nomination of the Sheraido Maidams uh, come at the time when India is celebrating the 400th uh, birth anniversary of uh, Lachit uh, Barfukan. The Lachit Barfukan was the legendary general from the Ahom community who fought the Mughals in 1671. Very good. Continue. CM Naveen Patnaik. Uh, CM Naveen Patnaik inaugurated International Craft Summit in Odisha. Good. Continue. Punjab CM Bhagwat Man launched School of Eminence project. Okay. Continue. Vikram Dev Dutt named as the next DGCA Gen uh, Director General. DGCA means please read this appointments committee. Directorate, uh, the appointments committee of the cabinet has approved the appointment of Vikram Devdat as the next uh, director general in the directorate of general of uh, civil aviation. He will take over as the head of the as a, as a head of the uh, aviation re uh, regulator on February 28, 2028, 23. He will be succeeding the uh, incumbent. The incumbent uh, DGCA uh, chief Arun Kumar earlier uh, that had uh, also served as a CMD of Air India. He had also taken in, uh, taken charge in January last year in 2022 that was appointed as a chairman and the managing director of Air India Limited as part of the senior level bureaucratic reshuffle uh, affected by the center. That is a 1993 batch IS officer of AGMUT. Arnachal Pradesh, Goa, Mizoram, and Union Territory, uh, Kumar, a 1989 batch IS officer, was leading the DGCA as its uh, Director General since July 2019. Continue. FIH tie-up with JSP Foundation for Hockey Development and Men's World Cup. Uh, important points, International Hockey. Please read. International Hockey Federation headquarters is in uh, Lucene, Switzerland. International Hockey Federation CEO uh, Thierry Weil. Continue. International Hockey Federation founded 7 January 1924, Paris, France. International Hockey Federation founder Paul Liotti. International Hockey Federation motto Play Fair, Friendship Forever. Continue. Deadline. Deadline for banks to renew safe deposit uh, locker agreements extended. Please read. The RBI extended the deadline for banks to complete the process of renewal of the agreement for the existing safe deposit local holders. The deadline will be extended in a past manner by December 31st, 2023. In case where local operations have been frozen for non-execution of the agreement by January 1, 2023. The same will be unfrozen immediately, RBI instructed. Mm -hmm. No foreign investment cap on sovereign uh, green bonds, safe RBI. Continue. 
phone pay rises a dollar 350 million from general uh, atlantic joins india's tech accord club continue indian navy conducts ampex 2023 mega exercise in andhra important points she, uh, chief of naval staff uh, admiral r hari kumar uh, indian navy founded 26 january 1950 indian navy headquarters new delhi continue and seon uh, seon won a uh, women's single final at india open badminton championship india's knowledge supremacy the uh, new dawn uh, book written by uh, dr ashwin fernandez released mm. parakram divas parakram divas 2023 celebrates as netaji subhash chandra bose birth anniversary okay uh, lieutenant governor uh, rk Ma- mathur launched uh, alpin in ladakh calls it a game changer please read lieutenant governor lieutenant governor uh, governor rk mathur launched a unique land parcel identification number in the union territory with both hill councils of kargil and leh uh, welcoming the initiative the 14 digit ul pin uh, would help in the digitalization of land records and also reach a conclusive land titling uh, term alpin is a game changer and the next step in samvitha for uh, digitalization and computerization of land revenue records uh, rk mathur informed the importance of 100% coverage of land revenue records in ladakh and the completion of the exercise at the earliest yeah next one minute yeah now continue one minute american indian foundation inaugurated first stem innovation and learning center in chennai that's all okay very good now how many have come so many people have come very good anand was there and the next person to come was kirti kirti your internet is okay good morning sir good morning good morning uh, yeah sir i can attend this meeting i am preparing yeah. for the federal bank interview yes yes you can attend federal bank people south indian bank people ibps po and anybody else also pf or da people they can come and attend nothing wrong as long as you are willing to listen to what is being done it is fine good kirti is your phone is your yes, internet sir. okay yeah please yes, read sir. from please read from this and before that this uh, there are some details regarding currency note which please go through from page number 25 to 26 of the material which we were studying yesterday now please read number 7 pos terminal point of sale terminals it is a terminal at a store where customers make purchases using a debit card credit card prepaid card card needs to be wiped to be swiped and the data embedded in the card is electronically validated and gets authorized if it is if it is in order it is the payment gateway of merchant acquirer the merchant establishment is required to hold an operative account with the acquirer bank to avail the service pos terminal as a good source of non interest income for banks yeah. this this is one of the one of the sources for income one of the one of the best sources of income is uh, uh, this one that is from commission on L, uh, say um, life policy can best mutual fund products etc continue um, kirti continue ne- the- negotiable instrument act 1881 these are written documents transferable from one person to another merely by delivery in case of bearer instrument and transferable by endorsement in case of order instrument the owner is the bona fide holder for the value bill of exchange is, it must be in writing and duly signed by its drawer it should contain an order to pay the parties to the transaction must be certain promissory note a promissory promissory note is an unconditional 
commitment made in writing and signed by a debtor to make payment in to a specified person or to the order within a specified period it is always in writing no verbal promise is accepted it is drawn for specified duration for specified sum of money hmm. here uh, creditor is x creditor means bank debtor means customer y and uh, x gives 1 crore to y and y gives promissory to note to uh, x x it should be x it is wrongly typed here very good continue check check a check is a negotiable instrument it contains an unconditional order to pay a certain sum of money it contains instructions in writing given by the account holder to his account to his bank for payment of money from his account there is a statutory obligation on the part of a banker to make payment if it is drawn by the drawer it is drawn upon a specified banker it is payable on demand to a specific person or his order or to the bearer of the instrument check should be properly dated yeah continue it should be it should be signed by the maker drawer there are three parties in the check transaction or drawee pay it yeah. is a self check pay will be the drawer only yeah so in the case of um, checks uh, who is the drawer kirti yes sir sir who is the uh, draw sir, sir who is the drawer uh, sir who all... signs the check uh, in the case of your bank account who is the drawer sir i will be the drawer if i sign the check and give it to someone else okay we will be the drawee to whom i will give the check wrong drawee is the bank, bank. drawee is the one who will go to the bank for no 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 that is payee okay drawee is the bank on which the check has been drawn okay. payee is the name of the beneficiary in whose favor you have drawn the check okay yes. so here it is given drawer drawer is the account holder payee is the person to whom the check has been given drawee is canara bank or whatever bank it is okay okay sir. very good now continue these are the things sir many, what is the many... differentiate between bill of exchange and promissory note sir bill of exchange there are uh, three parties a draws a bill on b asking him to pay the money to c whereas in the case of promissory note a draws a promissory note duly stamped with 1 rupee revenue stamp he promises to b the, that he will pay b for the money received by him a is giving promissory note to b because b has given money to a that is promise only two parties whereas in the case of bill of exchange drawer drawee and also the payee is also involved yeah continue associate many times in interview simple questions are asked tell us what is a check what are the different types of checks like that questions will come can be analyzed from different angles here what is the angle in which they have given let us go through this kirti please read order check a check payable to a particular person or his order bearer yes. check a check no, one, payable one, one, one minute when uh, kirti yes. draws a check draws a check pay uh, x or order x is the payee or order and in some checks you may have bearer also in which case kirti can issue a check stating x or bearer in which case bank is in order in paying money to the bearer of the check now continue bearer check continue bearer check a check payable to a person who so ever bears hmm. continue blank check blank check except signature or other columns are blank stale hmm. check which is more than 3 months old multilated hmm. check the check is torn hello, into hello, two hello, or hello. more pieces Hello, yes, read read proper multilateral check 
multilated check the check please, is torn please, in... please 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 read properly hello please read properly multilated check mutilator mutilator check okay see okay sorry uh... I am asking you to read Sorry. for third time, fourth time. Huh? Matter. Mutilated means torn, torn. That is, yes, fata ho gaya. Yeah, okay. continue. Mm. Post dated check, a check which bears a date later than the date of issue. Open mm. check, check which has not been crossed. Crossed mm. check, which uh, check which carries two parallel transverse. Lines across the face of the check. Good. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, next, after Kirti, who would like to read? Please Sir, raise I... your hand. Yes. Sir. Please raise your hands, all of you. Those who want to read, raise your hands. Yeah. In the order, I will go. Shrayans. First, Shrayans. Yeah. You can go through the other points. Number six, MICR. Good morning, sir. MICR. Code on check. It is a magnetic ink character recognition. MICR. It is a nine digit code. First three digit represents city district. Next three digit name of the bank. Last, Last three digit. digit location of branch or branch name. Correct. Mumbai, ICACI branch. Mumbai, Rohit Nagar. Rohit Nagar. Crossing of a check. Cross, crossing of check. This is to prevent the possibility of check failing into falling into the hands of wrong and unauthorized parties. Hence, crossing is required. If a check is crossed, di direction to the bank not not to pay across the counter in cash, but should be paid to the account holder only. But that means it has to be paid through another bank only. When you when a person crosses a check and gives. Bank cannot make payment of cash over the counter. It has to be paid to another banker. If the payee has got account in the same bank, it can be paid to the same bank. No problem. Continue. Demand draft bar check. Demand draft check. It is this a bill is a, of exchange. This, this is a very favorite question in interviews. <clears throat> Please follow these points very carefully. And you will be asked, tell us what is the difference between Demand draft and check. Please read. It is a bill of exchange drawn by a bank on another bank or by itself to its other branch to pay to the third party. It is not mentioned in the Negotiable Instrument Act. Due to its nature, it is classified under bill of exchange. Demand drafts along with check are commonly used by the customers of bank. Mm. Check, demand draft. Check, check draws is individual account holder. Demand draft no, is not. Hmm? No, I, yes, sir. I suggest I suggest you read first check, then demand draft. Yeah. Okay, sir. Check draw is individual account holder. No certainty of payment. Drawer can stop it by issuing orders. Defined in Negotiable Instrument Act 1881. Demand draft draw is normally a scheduled bank. Payment is certain. No one can stop it. Not defined in Negotiable Instrument Act 1881. Very good. So apart from this, what can be told in an interview is that, uh, as told rightly, uh, drawer is the individual account holder. In the case of demand draft, the purchaser of the demand draft goes and makes payment of money and the issuing branch, is, the issuing branch makes the demand draft and gives. And that demand draft is signed by the officer of the bank. And uh, yeah, and um, the one another important difference they have not given here is that a check can be bearer or order, but a demand draft is always order instrument. Could you follow? Because yes, all yeah, that is a thing to be remembered. Very good. Now continue CTS. Two zero one zero. Can you Check repeat bank. the last point? The last point is, see, in the case of checks, uh, the bearer, I mean, the drawer can issue it, Mr. Pay X or order. 
or he can issue check as pay X or bearer. But a DD is always pay X or order only. Never it is bearer. Continue number nine. Yeah. CTS 2010. It is a check truncation system 2010. Truncation is a process of stopping the flow of the physical check. The physical instrument will be truncated at some point in those two D draw branch and it will be verified digitally. Hence, the need to move the check physically will be eliminated. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I think this point, this point, I think I told yesterday, prior to this uh, CTS 2010, see the check will be going to the branch on which the check has been drawn. Nowadays, the check is retained by the collecting banker and only the image is sent to the branch on which the check has been drawn. This much will do. This picture and all not needed. Continue. Come to this yes, topic 8. Topic 8, concept of loan and advances. Loans and advances. Loans and advances are given by the bank for various purposes such as Home loans, personal loans, car loans, loan against securities, agriculture loan, corporate loans, mortgage loans. Please read again. Index. Please read okay. again. Lo loan and advances are given by banks for various purposes, such as home loans, personal loans, car loans, loan against securities, agriculture loan, corporate loan, and mortgage loans. Yeah. This alone will not do. You go through all the material I have given. Apart from that, what you should go, what you should do is that you should go to your I think bank. educational loan is necessary. Yeah, you should go to your own bank and put search about various loans and other things. If you go to your bank's website, the, I suggest you to go to your bank's website because sometimes they may ask questions relating to that. If somebody has got account in Bank of Baroda, he can go through this. He can find out what are all the things that are there. What are the accounts that are there? What are the loans that are there? What are the investments options that are there? What are the insurance options that are given? What are the digital products that are there? And whether any offers are there? And then like other services. Likewise, you should go through the website of your bank to understand all details. Just go through that. And also, um, you must get to know about the bank, about the bank. And then interest rates also, you can check up from them. What is the interest rate? What is the interest rate? They are telling just that also, you please go through and get to know about the details. Now, where are we? We are here. Yeah. Now, please Sir, go through. Yeah. How can we know about the net interest margin of any particular bank? See, actually, net interest margin, I think yesterday we studied. Net interest margin means the average of the cost of funds that bank incurs, that is, let it be X, then average of the interest which bank is receiving on account of loan given, let it be Y. Then Y minus X is the net interest margin. It is suggested that if the net interest margin is 3% and above, that is a good sign because the bank will be able to make more profit. That can be known by going through the website of the bank where the financial uh, details they would have given. And in the financial details, they would have given what is the net interest margin. For example, I am familiar with this federal bank. I will just go through that one. It's a private sector bank, federal bank. And in that federal bank, they will be having a column known as financial results. So you go through that financial results. And here, normally, 
they will be giving these details in the press release. If it is there in the press release, the two for this year and press release for the third quarter is what is required. I think it has come. Quarter one is there. Quarter two is there. Um, quarter three, quarter three, quarter three is quarter three. I remember to have seen. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's, it's result it quarter is, three financial reporting. It is there, na? Yes, sir. Just a bit of one minute. One minute. This is this. This is this. This is this. This is this. That one, sir. This one. Quarter three. This is. So we have to download. We have to download. See, if when we go through this, somebody wanted to know what is net interest margin. Here they have given you see, net interest margin increased to three point four nine percent by twenty two basis points. That means, uh, it, previously it was three point two seven. Now it has become three point four nine percentage. Likewise, when we go through the press release of each bank, we can easily know what are all the details that are given by them. They will give you what is the net profit made by them. And then they will also tell you what is the operating profit, what is the return on assets, return on equity, then highest net interest income, how much was it? then net interest margin, what is the gross NPA and net NPA percentage, then total advances, how much has it increased, then they will give you all the details here. Plus, they will also give you what is the total business of the bank. In this case, Federal Bank total business is 3,69,000 crores, of which total deposits is now 2 lakh crores and, and uh, CASA deposits also grew by 7.19%. Then the advances has now become 1 crore 71 lakhs. Operating profit details they have given, income and margins detail they are given, asset quality they are given, capital adequacy, it, the, the, the net worth has increased to 20,000. Last quarter it was 19,000, whereas third quarter it has increased. And the capital adequacy is now standing at 13.35. They are also telling how many branches are there, how many ATMs are there. This is for this bank. Likewise, you go to your own bank and try to find details about the figures. That will be good for you. If they ask yes, some sir. questions, you can answer. Now, sir, please, what is capital adequacy, sir? Capital adequacy means uh, uh, how much of um, capital you are having and uh, as against the liability that you have. Capital adequacy and uh, in the uh, yeah, capital adequacy. What is capital adequacy rate in India? The total capital adequacy rate in India for all banks was approximately 13.24%. Now, the requirement of Reserve Bank is 9%. What is capital adequacy ratio? In other words, capital adequacy ratio is the ratio of banks' capital bank's capital in relation to its assets and liabilities. A credit solvency maintenance tool used by banking authorities to help banks stay fiscally fit. Capital adequacy ratio is also known as capital to a risk weighted assets ratio. Very, It is very technical. It will be difficult for you to follow. They say, say um, for example, if there are 10,000 crores loan 
given by the bank and all of them are being repaid properly. They, they, they say even under those somebody's phone is on, somebody's mic is on, whose mic? It's giving a lot of noise. Please switch off the mic. See, if 10,000 rupees, sorry, I, I was telling you about 10,000. Whose mic is on giving noise like this? Somebody's house, they are cleaning vessels and all. So much sound is coming. Please switch off your mic. Yeah. So what happened? If assuming there is 10,000 crores is the total advance given by our bank. And as per the Bastle committee norms, assuming that all the 10,000 crores is pakka, it is all repaid correctly. Even then, they say there is a risk of 0.25%. The bank must be having 0.25% of the total standard assets uh, towards as capital with it so that they can repay it when uh, they will be able to meet their liability. Similarly, uh, there are different type of uh, risk. That is why we say when an account becomes NPA, they start reducing the risk by making provision and all. Simply no. It is the capital which bank has got to meet its commitment in terms of emergency. That's all. That much is sufficient. Otherwise, it is very difficult to follow. Yeah. Now, admit yes, all. Someone is asking a doubt in the chat. Yeah. One minute. Uh, chat, chat. What is the chat? Chat. 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 I think I am not audible. I want to clear one doubt that in some book uh, says demand draft can be stopped by courts. Is it correct? Yeah. Demand draft, the payment can be stopped. Uh, payment can be stopped. Uh, supposing I am purchasing a demand draft. I am sending it to Kirti. But the demand draft is not reaching Kirti. Kirti tells me, sir, sir, I have not received the demand draft. Then what I will do, I will go to my bank and ask the bank to stop payment of the check because I am not sure that it has reached the correct person's hands. Then what I will do, I will ask the bank to issue a duplicate demand draft. Some charges they may collect. Duplicate demand draft and send it to Kirti so that she can get it collected. Another option is what I will ask the bank to do. I will ask the bank to cancel the demand draft and return the money to me. That is also possible. Bank will, that is why banks are taking demand draft application. You may be wondering why they are taking signature of the purchaser only for this purpose. They will take your signature for purchaser and on the reverse of the talan, the signature of the person who is taking the demand draft from the bank. So this that is how, I mean, it will be namely same purchaser only. So the payment can be stopped not by X or Y, but by the bank branch at the request of the purchaser. That's what it is. Good. Then next one is, uh, who was reading it? Uh, sir, I want to ask one thing. Yeah. Sir, what is yeah. the difference between bankruptcy and insolvency? Bankruptcy, insolvency, both are same. Insolvency can be there in the case of, see, insolvent means what? A person who cannot meet his liabilities. Meet his liabilities when it is due. Insolvency can be there in the case of individuals also. The term bankruptcy is used in terms of companies, corporates. Okay, continue. Who was reading it? It's me, sir. Yeah, what is your name? Sir Shreyans. Shreyans, please read. Index yes, for sir. loans. Index for loans. BPLR 
2003. It is a benchmark prime lending rate. It is not transparent in nature. It resulted in one borrower getting a loan at lower interest than the other. Mm. RBI. RBI constituted a working group under the chairmanship of Sri Deepak Mohanty to review the rate. The committee mm. suggested changes to make the credit pricing more transparent and submitted a report in October 2009. Hence, base rate came into effect. Base mm. rate 2009. It is the interest rate below which the scheduled commercial bank will lend no loan to its customer. Now, all categories of loan are priced with reference to base rate only, except some exemptions. Main components of calculating this base rate were cost of funds, operating expenses to run the bank, profit, negative carry on CRR and SLR. So as you see, repo rate is not considered while calculation of base rate. So any cut or decrease in repo rate by RBI was not being forwarded by the bank to their customers. Mm. MCLR, mm. Continue. MC, MCLR 2016. MCLI stands for marginal cost of fund based lending sir, rate. What, which was, what is that? Uh, sir, uh, so as you see, the last two point is not a... Please explain, sir. No, no, that will come. That will come later on. Let's continue. Okay, okay, continue. MC, MCLI stand for marginal cost of fund based lending rate, which was introduced on 1st April 2016. It, it is aimed to help borrowers avail several kinds of advances, including home loans. MCLI replaced the base rate in order to benefit borrower by cutting down the actual lending rates. MC, marginal cost of lending rates consists of the following components marginal cost of fund, negative carry on account of CRR, operating cost, tenor premium. External mm. benchmark rate, reported 20, 2019. The, the Reserve Bank had constituted an internal study group, ISG, to examine the various aspects of the marginal cost of fund based lending rate, MCLR. The ISG observed that internal benchmarks such as base rate, MCLR, have not delivered effective transmission of monetary policy. Mm. RBI. Uh, RBI ha has announced that all new floating rates, personal or retail loans, and floating rates to micro and small enterprises extended by bank from October 1, 2019, shall be linked to linked to external benchmarks. Once in three months, banks have to change their external benchmark benchmarks rate effectively. The exception category: loan granted under DRI differential rate of interest scheme. Loan to own employees of the bank, including retired employees. Loan to depositor of the bank against their own deposit. Mm -hmm. DRI, differential rate of interest, is a lending program launched by Government of India in 1972. All the scheduled banks except RRBs have to lend 1% of total advances of the previous year to the poorest among the poor. The interest rate will be 4% per annum. It is need based, it is it is a need based. Need need based financial assistance to those who intend to take up any productive activity. The group covers the SCs, STs, RDVCs engaged in agricultural operation, physically handicapped, orphanage, women's house, etc. Other yeah. exemptions: crop loans. Mm -hmm. In case of crop loans, up to three lakhs. Interest rate are specified by the government of India. Interest subvention is given by the government of India to banks. Hmm. Rupees export credit advances. In case of rupee export credit advances, interest rates can be below rate to the extent of uh, of in interest subvention available. Hmm. Uh, ALMC Asset Liability Management hmm. Committee. No, one minute. I think that point is not coming. Let me tell you. Right now, what is the methodology followed is that banks are linking the interest rate to the repo rate. Repo rate is the rate at which Reserve Bank of India gives money to scheduled commercial banks for short term period. Presently, it is 6.25 percentage. So, next time when they revise the um, repo rate, when they increase it, Automatically, banks also will be increasing their interest rate they are charging on home loan, auto loan, etc. And, you know, that is one. Number two, where the repo rate is coming down, that will also be passed on to the borrowers. Previously, what was happening was that before 2019, what was happening was 
when the repo rate is reduced, even then the banks were not reducing the interest charged on loans. Whereas now it is linked to repo rate and um, the report, this is coming under RBI 1 under monetary policy. Present repo rate is 6.25. There is one more rate known as standing deposit facility. That is 6%. That is, if the banks have got surplus funds, they can go and keep the funds with the reserve bank for short term. And bank will give interest of 6% to them. Another rate is bank rate 6.50. That is the rate at which banks are borrowing from RBI for long term also. And after all this is over also, sometimes banks may need emergency funds for meeting some extra uh, clearing checks received and for overnight. That is known as marginal standing facility rate. And that rate is 6.5 charged by Reserve Bank of India. There is one more rate known as a reverse repo rate. And that is 3.35 percentage. Both are same. Standing deposit facility and reverse repo, both are same where banks are going to give their surplus funds to RBI. But in the case of standing deposit facility, the RBI will take it without being supported by government securities. Whereas here, it will the reverse repo rate, it will be supported by government securities. That is why they are giving only a low rate of interest of 3.35 percentage. This is all about bank and RBI. And the repo rate uh, is now the interesting question asked in interviews is that why Reserve Bank is raising the repo rate? Reserve Bank is raising the repo rate because the, they want to reduce the inflation. Now the question is how inflation will come down if repo rate is raised? If repo rate is raised, banks will charge a higher interest rate to borrowers. When they charge a higher interest rate to borrowers, borrowers will borrow less from the bank. When they borrow less from the bank, the money in circulation will come down. Automatically, the inflation is expected to come down. This is the favorite question in federal bank interviews, why the repo rate is raised? And that is a good question. And incidentally, today's news about Pakistan is that as I told in yesterday or day before class, the inflation in Pakistan is very high, more than 20% inflation is going on. Whereas our country's inflation is around 5.7 or so now. So because of that, what happened? In the last one year or so, the, the Central Bank of Pakistan, that is State Bank of Pakistan, has raised the repo rate by 7.25 percentage. Seven, recently, yesterday or so, they have increased it by 1.25 percentage. This much will do. Don't confuse yourself too much. Just listen to this video again. I will be posting in our um, groups. Very good. So this is what it Can is. Can I ask small doubt? Pardon? Can I ask small doubt, sir? Yeah. Sir, what's the difference between economic crisis sir, and uh, recession and also inflation, sir? No, no. Inflation, what's the main difference, sir? In, in, inflation means too much rise in the price of goods and services over a length of time. That means not only for one month, two months, but say 10 months. Last time we had increase in inflation going on increasing for last 10 months or one year. So that is known as inflation. A recession, a recession is a process where 
there is no demand for commodities. Lot of cars are being manufactured. Lot of uh, cement is being manufactured. Lot of cell phones are being manufactured. Everything is available in the shop, but there are no takers. People are not willing to buy it. That is the stage of a, a recession. In comparison to, say, about 40 years ago, 45 years ago and all, if you want to have a telephone, you have to go and register for it, wait in the Come. list for one year, two years. After that only, you will get. Nowadays, what happened? You want a telephone connection? You just send an SMS, they will come and deliver it to you immediately, telephone and cell phone, etc. About 40 years ago and all, if you want to buy a scooter or a car, you have book for its reservation, wait for it to come maybe a year or two afterwards. Now you can go and buy a car, you can go and buy a scooter, two-wheeler, etc. like you are buying tour dal. How you are going from shops like that, you can go and buy it. That is all because of the production being increased, and um, that is and more money is also available in the hands of the people. Once upon a time, if you want to have a Vespa scooter, you have to ask some of your relative from abroad to send money to you. Then only they will give you Vespa scooter. That much demand. Production was very less. So that is what it is. So th that is recession, inflation. What is the other thing you asked? Economic crisis. crisis. Economic, yeah. economic crisis is a situation where the prices are rising too much. Not only that, there is a lot of unemployment also. Like it is also known as stagflation. On the one hand, price is rising. On the other hand, say unemployment also is increasing. That is the stage. Right now, I don't know what is the stage we are going through. You must have seen in the newspapers, the big, big companies like uh, Microsoft, Google, then uh, um, Facebook. So many companies, everybody has been sending people out for them. Ford company. Everybody has been sending people out. And the majority of the people being sent out are in IT sector, information technology sector. So, and most, and especially it is told in America, nearly 1 lakh people or 2 lakh people are searching for employment because of this crisis. Likewise, it is there. So now, we are undergoing economic crisis in okay. um, India. That is why Indian government is giving um, food grains free of charge to all the ration card holders. 80 crore people are being given free rice, free wheat, like that. And um, whereas um, that well, the government is trying to push in more money into market so that money comes into the hands of people so they will buy more commodities, things and all that. But of course, India situation is slightly better. Whereas in America, I am told here, even the government is giving money to people for those who are drawing less than some so many lakh salaries. They are being given some $600, $1,000, like that free. So because government wants to increase the consumption and they don't want it to go into a recession. So these are the things I thought I can share it with you. Thank you so much. Now, we will continue with the other things tomorrow, but our reading alone here will not do. You must do individual reading on your part Try to find out difficult, difficult things. Search in Google and try to find out suitable answers and write them shortly with you. Keep it with you. And also, the IBPS PO people, you will have questions that were asked last year. 
you can go through those lists. From there, you can make out um, answers for those questions. Similarly, federal bank people also, 103 pages material is there. Of course, questions will be repeated. You go through them and try to make out the answers for you. Thank you so much. Sir, Best wishes. Sir, yeah. What is current yeah. account deficit, sir? Current account deficit is in respect of union government. Union government is going to present budget on 1st February. When they prepare the budget, they will prepare a budget and say, we will be receiving so much monies from the public towards taxes. We will be spending so much money towards other welfare projects for the people. If the money spent um, from for expenditure is more, then that is known as deficit budget. And that is also known as fiscal deficit. Fiscal deficit. Fiscal deficit is excess of expenditure over the income. Over the income that is anticipated by the government. Whereas a surplus budget is one where government is putting a budget, I will be receiving 10,000 crores income. I will spend only 9,000 crores for others. I will be left with 1,000 crores. That is surplus budget. That situation has not been seen in India from independence because our government has been a socialist economy where we want to help the downtrodden people and people who are in need of things. And, and apart from that, now the country is going on modernization, say like putting new roads, new metro projects, because population has increased enormously. When I was born in 1950, the population was somewhere around, if I am not wrong, 50 crores or so, I'm not sure. Whereas right now it is touching 140 crore. The reverse is the situation in Japan where the population was very high. Whereas now its population is coming down. And uh, um, same thing is happening in China. China was standing first in population. Whereas now their population increase is not that much, so much so. Earlier, we were telling India will surpass China by 2050. Whereas now, even before 2025 or 2030, India will surpass the population level of China also. So this is also one of the reasons of economic crisis where population increase. But one thing, Population increase is not only, it, one way it is a pain, in another way it is a boom. The excess of population India had in 1990, young people, all with energy, enthusiasm, knowledge of English, that only helped India get all the uh, contracts from foreign countries. So like companies like Infosys, TCS, Wipro, they started rising. And now that tendency is still continuing, but only the revised situation is that now other countries like Philippines, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, they are China, they are also learning English. And so the extent of competition is very high. Very nice. Thank you. We will meet again tomorrow. Thank and uh, such of those you, people, sir. such of those people who would like to take mock interview, you can send a message to me so that I can arrange for a time and that mock interview can be conducted. As I have posted in Telegram, if some of you don't want your video to be posted in YouTube, you tell me beforehand so that we will not record it. Even if we record it, it will not be posted. This is what it is. I sir, request is this you... January current affairs update updated. Yeah, 
it is updated. Right now, I have posted up to 20 per day. Even latest things also I posted. Yeah. The, say the latest thing is Prime Minister naming the 21 islands in Andaman Nicobar Avar after Parambir Chakra yes. awardees. Even that has been given. Thank so daily you. current affairs will be posted there. Yeah, every day I am posting. Okay. I am I am collecting from Banker Zadda. Then I will be adding something extra from InShots.com. I will be okay, collecting sir. it and posting it as one. I will be removing certain things which I feel not required. I will be adding certain things which is required. And if you have a facility of following other groups like Affairs Cloud or... Um, say smart keda you can also read them. there is nothing wrong but for interview what is needed is right from 15th of 16th of january you must be going through everyday newspaper and write down in your notebook every day five or six points which you can tell in the interview yesterday also or today also I conduct an interview for a guy, very bright guy. I asked him, tell me current affairs, what you have read in the last week. He is not able to remember. That should not be the case. You must try to know current affairs relating to your state, our country relating to banks, insurance companies, then some important events happening like sports, etc. Thank you. Bye. Yes, thank, thank you, sir. Yeah, bye bye.